Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to this 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed. Today, we are going to be taking on the Talal assassination mission. So let's head into here, speak to the leader, and find out what we've got to do. Come to waste more of my time? I've found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. Alright. <laughs> Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. So we are ready then. Talao inspects his warehouse daily, strike during the next inspection. Um, so I know I said after the last episode that I would be collecting the next set of collectibles in this one. Um, but to be honest with you, I've had a pretty busy couple of days um, with work and I had to go to the doctors for a blood test and all sorts of things like that. So I just didn't get the time to do the research that I needed to be able to make notes of where all the collectibles are and things. So instead we're going to do the assassination and we'll go back and get the collectibles afterwards because I don't know, we'll do it that way. I wanted to get a video out rather than just not release one, so there's nothing wrong with doing the assassination first and coming back later. It doesn't really make any difference at all. You can collect the collectibles at any point, so let's do it that way, shall we? We'll do it. We'll change it up for this particular part. Uh, but yeah, this assassination mission is going to be a little bit different to the ones we've done so far, and I'm not going to say too much about that. Um, I know a lot of you guys watching have actually played this game before, um, but I know some of you don't remember. I remember why this one's different to the other ones we've done so far, but... Oh, um... Oh, there is a guy right there. I didn't even see him. Anyway, we'll um, go in this way, shall we? There we go. Nice and easy. So, let's head over to where Talau is. And you'll see what I was talking about with it being a little bit different this time. I'm going to need to use some different skills in this one. No, I don't want these guys... Get out of here. So comes the English king and his infidel army. Okay, uh, in we go. Trapped. What now, slaver? Do not call me that. I only wish to help them, as I myself was helped. You do no kindness imprisoning them like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here, to think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. So, it seems that Talal knows where we are. Help me! Save me! But these people are not being kept in... Well, any sort of good conditions, are they? So it shows who Talal is. Ah, so you want to see the man who called you here? You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light then, and I will grant you one final favor. Surround it. Now 
Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. I don't think we'll be dying today though, so... Up the ladder please, Altair. Yes uh... sir. Okay. He's gonna run... No! 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 Oh my god, really? Okay. Let's get these guys away from this ladder. Quickly, quickly. Thank you. Oh my god, that could have gone better at the start, couldn't it? Never mind. We're out. There he is. Okay, so the guards are all alerted. And we're going to... Um... No, don't kick me down. Do not kick me down. Do not kick me down. <laughs> oh my lord. It's, um, it's all going off. Come here. There we go. You've nowhere to run now. Got a bit lucky there. Share your secrets with me. My part is played. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your god. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind. They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet it seems. But you will. More riddles it seems. Uh, okay. <laughs> we need to get the hell out of here. Which we can do, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, right. Yeah. Can we get in here for now? Yes, we can. Nice. So they'll stay on high alert, though, so we're going to have to be pretty careful. They won't know where we are. They're pretty stupid. <laughs> they never check these types of places. Go on, mate. Get down. There we go. Thank you. So yeah, that was what I meant when I said that it was a slightly different type of assassination mission. Um, not the usual sort of hide in plain sight and then take the guy out when it comes to an opportunity. He actually knew we were coming. And we've been rumbled again. Uh, never mind, we can still get out of here. So yeah, he knew we were coming and he was waiting for us. And then he tried to run away and have us killed, but, you know, that was never going to work, was it? Let's be honest. Not with us, anyway. Uh, okay. Can we make that jump? Yes, we can. Let's get onto this big roof if we can. Lovely. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll stop there for a second for some reason. We'll make our way across here. We won't pick up that flag because we don't want to do that yet. So we'll avoid that. Uh, they don't actually know where we are. I love the music though, like it's... On this game, the music on these sort of sections makes no sense to me. <laughs> on the later games, like it makes sense where you are in the world and things, but yeah, on this one it's a bit... I don't know, a bit too modern I think. Right. I think we have to get rid of some of these guys. You will not get away from me. That's what you think. 
You get down there. Go on. Get down. Get down. Get down. There we go. That worked. Anyway, we're nearly back now. Uh, let's switch back to the hidden blade, shall we? Why not? Can we make that jump? Oh, yes. No, we can't. Luckily there were no guards around though, so we're all good. Uh, let's climb up here. And we'll make our way across to here. And apparently take some full damage, but we should be good. Uh, I'm not sure we can actually get into the bureau when we're being chased. So we're going to have to hide away. Because I think they closed the roof. If I remember right. I think it was closed when we just ran past there. So... Alright, I think we're good now. Should be able to get back and talk to Malik. Yeah, there we go. The roof's back open now. So they, they close the roof if you're being chased by guards. Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows. Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No, a skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik, but the fact remains I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Muallim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast forwarding memory to a more. Maybe on the same side. But. The target has been eliminated, so now we need to return to Al Mualim. I think the game's actually going to force us to do that as well. Or maybe it boots us out the Animus at this point, I can't remember. Yep. Damn it. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna How be a dare way. the machine break? Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. It's unacceptable. This machine should be able to operate 24-7. Uh, can we do anything here? I can't remember. Maybe we can do a bit of, um... No, we can't. Whoop! We can walk up on the table, though. <laughs> Why not? Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. Can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. Hmm. Not sure I'd agree with that. Uh, is there anything else we can say to her? Yep. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad, that he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, here at Abstergo, helping out on the Animus project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... If they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. 
I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again, and he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nutjobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. So, we find out a little bit about Abstergo and who these people are. You might notice there's certain ideals that they have which match what, the hell? what some of the people we've been Someone's assassinating been have been saying. Interesting. I'll allow you to ponder that. Jeez, uh, Desmond, can you not hang your towel up properly? It's disgusting. It's never going to dry if you do that and it's going to smell. It's going to get all damp. Right, let's go to sleep anyway. <laughs> Nothing else, it looks like quite a comfy bed. The following morning. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your Yay. treasure. Yay! This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart? That you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Those who came before, eh? Hmm, that's interesting. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. I like the. Hi. I like the way that the cup of tea or coffee was steaming. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a nice little touch. Anyway, let's jump back into the animus, shall we? Now that it's been modified and cooled down. Let's start our next memory. Should you enter a fist this is memory the block four will now. Interfere. But drawing your weapon will turn them hostile. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. 
Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It would be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Dukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed. Arrogance. The slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. So, we have our next... And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Ah. Uh -huh. So we'll have to be careful then. So we get a bar of health back. We get the ability to catch a ledge if we fall now, which is pretty cool. So we press circle if we're dropping down. We can grab hold of the wall, which is a nice little ability for us to have. What else did we get? Come on, game, you can tell us. Huh, I'm not actually sure what else we got. Uh, did we get... I think we might have got our, like, glove things, where we can do stronger punching. I think that's what we got. They're like almost like knuckle dusters, I think. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I think that is where we'll leave it for this episode. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.